I'm going to read um, two poems, and um, the first one is called uh, Shades of Third, and I wrote this a while ago, years. Those damned spurts of fabricated hope, existing in one mind alone that wishes it was two, split in two, together as one. Perhaps love is a double existing idea, a constant shallow echo being heard throughout the desert to encourage the mind to drink to drink the water, but not too much. Moderation, making sure it goes through the right tube, both tubes, either tubes, tubes as one, tubes as two as one. Beware, the choking is real, whereas the tubes are only encasing the pain, hidden. The pain felt in your throat, stopping all talking, you, you'll starve, you'll see. You reach for the tube, you caressed it, and later suffocated it. Two as two, two as one, the eyes have it, silly cross-eyed illusion, silly, Silly, it was I who grabbed for the tube. It was I who twisted it with fairy tale dreams. It was I who believed in defying logic. It was I who believed in one being two, not you, real. It was I. And yet, it still doesn't stop. I'll choke and I'll starve and I'll be the happy masochist that I am. But I'm doing the best I know, so don't be. Don't be anything. Be nothing like you claim you are. Be the nobody bracket that you constantly boast about. Be humble. Be the humble nobody you are, and you'll probably still swallow all for a silly cross-eyed illusion. Put your glasses on for a while. Snip it nice, fine, dry. No water, please. I'm watching my intake. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the next one is it's, um, a more recent poem, and it's a much happier one. <laughs> and. Um, I wrote it when I was uh, supposed to be right, uh, studying for a, a, math, a math exam, an algebra exam, and uh, we were studying about binary functions, and I had no idea what any of it is, and I still don't, but I pass. Anyways, this is, um, this is binary functions. Binary functions pulsate on my tablet, seducing my captive disk to travel, reminding me of the moments chosen when there were two characters, in, re in reality two, count them, one, one, oh. Numerous explorations of possibilities, ecstasy between the lines on the sheet, problems go unsolved, my mind races on, dipping into a pool, swells for the knowledge of binarial fun. Canadian geese are the masters, founders of my binarial dream. Thanks. <laughs> that was Kerry Ryan. Next up is a wonderful man, Ray Weiser. Well, uh, Joanne Crump is up. I have the most interesting conversation with God. Hi, Chief. Hi, Tom. Hey, what's going on today? What's my mission? I'm ready and willing. Relax. Look, Chief, you told me to ask. They told me to ask. All of them. So let's go. Time is money. Relax, time is time. Hey, Chief, try to look at it my way, will you? I know you're a little ripped at me. I mean, I know I pointed myself as God's little helper. That didn't get very good press, you know. But don't you think the world's safer with me around? Easy. Come on, try sympathy, try understanding. You remember St. Francis, don't you? The guy from Sicily or whatever? See, first there's this damaged vocal cord. I want my voice back just like it was. The telephone company's going broke. I'm going to sue somebody on this one. Steady, boy. Hey, easy enough for you to say. Six to nine months, the doctor say. And they're telling me to cut down on smoking and talking. All this I can bear, but the world, chief, think of the world. They're out there waiting to hear from me. Compassion. Patience. Well... It's encouraging to know that you're listening at last. Now look at my job situation, will you? What, where are the answers? I want them now, today. So what's the beat? I'm doing my part. Where the hell are you? Just where I've been all along. Don't get huffy with me. I can only take so much. I do get the point, however. But the dentist, please. Every time I open my mouth, they get their dirty hands in there. I know I'm in love with half the dental technicians in Massachusetts. They're safe, though. That's one thing you do take care of. Now, look, I'd like to wrap all this up by Friday. No later, right? What else? 
Wait, there's someone on the other line. <laughs> Anything I can help with, Chief? Down, boy. Just trying to be useful. Now, there's this divorce thing. Everything was all set, and I wanted to go the last month. Did you really have to send my lawyer on overseas assignment? Very selfish of him. Doesn't anybody think of me? My daughter did call last week. First time in God, uh, uh, God uh, in, in how long? They got to, that got to me. But it's been two whole days, and she still hasn't replied to my message. Gratitude, huh? Or is this where the idea of patience comes in? You are not entirely without promise. Then there's my son. I can't believe the man that guy is. And he seems to like me. Where did he get it, Chief? Your guess is as good as mine. And my wife, she really cares about me. And I care about her. But we always have irritated each other when we're too close. Why don't you two get a divorce? I thought we were. Sometimes I wonder. Hold it, Chief. I got a call on the other line. Go ahead. I'm back. It was Jenny. She wants me to do something with her. Great girl. You wouldn't believe this one, Chief. Try me. She has a friend who wants to help me with my vocal cord problem. You need all the help you can get. <laughs> By the way, I thought you were taking care of my divorce. You told me you were. Well, you do it. It just confuses me. It should. You're the alcoholic. Sometimes I wonder about you. Is there much more? I do have an appointment with John the 23rd later on. Well, there's kind of a potpourri, if I may. I'm all alone in my apartment. I want to share the view of the birches, willows, ducks, and other birds, the beauty of life. I want to share all that with somebody special. Try me. Some people call it gratitude. You really know how to hurt. I know I'm a good man, and I can be and have been a good husband and father. I have a capacity for love and intimacy, but I'm afraid sometimes. How will it all work? The damn alcohol. Oh, I know you're there, so what's the beef? Well, there's this cute little girl from Maine. What are you waiting for? Well, you sent her on assignment to Hawaii, then Atlantic City, then Maine, Christ. They make pencils, don't they? No address. She's even smarter than your daughter. Cute. When's she coming back? I don't know. I'll see what I can do about that. Promises, promises. Just don't drink. But where there is despair, what? Oh, Pope John. Yes. You see, I was just talking with this little farm boy from Pennsylvania, and I need some help. Well, St. Francis said, quick. Thank you.